Today, we're doing a close-up comparison on all of the 2020 LEGO Speed Champions cars. Here are all the 2020 Speed Champions cars, as I promised, and today we're going to be looking at all of them individually and comparing them all against each other, and I'm really excited for this. So we have the Ferrari F8 Tributo, the Nissan GTR Nismo, the Audi Sport Quattro S1, the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo Evo, the Lamborghini Urus STX, the Jaguar I-Pace E-Trophy, and the Jaguar Panasonic Formula E car. Now, I am very excited to share these all with you, and let's compare them all right now. These are all of the 2020 Speed Champions cars that come in their own individual boxes. So the Nissan GTR Nismo comes in its own box, the F8 Tributo by Ferrari comes in its own box, and the Audi Sport Quattro S1 comes in its own box. So. Personally, I really like this Nissan GTR, but it's a close favorite between the Ferrari and the Nissan. Sorry, Audi, it's still a really, really cool car, and I, I love all of these sets, but personally, these two are my favorite, and it's a I'm having a really hard time deciding. Now, in my opinion, the Nissan is the best value out of these three cars, and I say that because it has all kinds of really cool sticker and print details. Now the Audi also has a printed hood just like the Nissan and that is one thing that I really like. They both use the same hood piece and they both look very accurate to the real cars with their nice prints. Now they both have very cool sticker prints however the Nissan I say is a better value because the prints are more sophisticated and in my opinion look cooler and you can see that the size is very comparable between the two and the Nissan might actually even be a little bit bigger for the same price as the Audi. Now the backs of the cars, the Audi might look a little more or less advanced than the build of the Nissan. So for that reason, I think that the Nissan might be a little better in that department as well. However, I think we can all say that the Ferrari probably has the most beautiful design because it is a Ferrari and it's got lots of curved pieces and all of the shaping just kind of goes into each other, especially here and some of the shaping here. It all just looks very nice and this Ferrari kit just looks really, really good, especially the back where we do again get some custom print printed pieces at the back. I thought that that would be a little more like the front where we just have this two by one tile next to these two studs. However, these in the back are indeed actual prints and I think that that looks really nice. So, as far as value goes, I think that the Nissan is in first place, the Audi is in second, and the Ferrari is the smallest in place number three. Now, as far as design, I really like this Nissan, and I mean, all of them are really, really good designs, but I think by the looks, the Ferrari is by far the winner. Now, let's go on to the two combo kits that we got this year. Moving on to the Jaguar set, which is the first of the two car sets that we're going to be taking a look at today. And it comes with this little side build, which is a start gate. The Lamborghini set also comes with a start gate, so I'm going to compare those later on. So we'll get that out of the way. Now we can look at the cars primarily. And both of them look very, very good, especially compared to the actual cars. I think LEGO has done a fantastic job with both of these, especially all of the little details on the Formula E car, such as the fact that it actually has the roll bar right here, which is really cool, and I'm not entirely sure why they've started doing it on Formula One cars and the Formula E cars, and now Indy cars have them too, and it just looks a little odd, but it gives the car a little bit of character, and in my opinion, kind of looks cool on the Formula E cars. We have a massive diffuser that looks really cool, just like the real car, and the little fog light slash brake light. Again, this car is very accurate to the real one. Now, the SUV, or I'm pretty sure it's more of a crossover, the Jaguar I-Pace. Now, this is the E-Trophy, so it is the race car version of the I-Pace. However, it still looks very cool, and it just has the two little seats for the drivers. Now, compared to the Lamborghini Urus, which is the kind of SUV from that set, 
if we bring it in, you'll see that it is much bigger than the I-Pace. And just the you the Urus just towers over the I-Pace and it's really interesting because when you're looking in the pictures, you really think that these are two really comparable sized cars, but you can really see that the I-Pace is more of a crossover than an SUV, whereas the Urus is a high performance SUV and it's just really cool that that carried over into the Lego sets. Now, personally, I like the Urus a bit more than the I-Pace, and I guess that's just because it's really big, bright green, and on the inside, you have a very detailed interior with a nice console down there, and a ton of extra space in the back that you do not get with the I-Pace. Now, that is a very cool inclusion. However, the Lamborghini kit, which also includes the Urukan Super Trofeo, is $50 instead of $30 and I think that's really where the Jaguar set would win between these two kits is very much so in the value because that kit only costs $10 more than just getting a standalone Speed Champions car such as the F8 Tributo and those are $20 so to have two cars for $30 plus a little start gate is a fantastic value in my opinion and if you were to just get one of these kits I would probably recommend that one. Now the Lamborghini set itself even though it's $50 it is definitely my favorite. The Uricon Super Trofeo in its black and gold color scheme is absolutely awesome. It's got all kinds of really cool gold accents including the mirrors and really just everywhere. You have kind of a suggestion of doors that you can modify to make actual doors and just the wing and the back and everything about this car is just absolutely perfect in my opinion. And again with that 8 stud wide format it just looks really really good. Starting off our two starting gates we have this one here that comes with the Jaguar set as you can see with the little Jaguar underneath it and this one that comes in the Lamborghini set with the Lamborghini underneath it. Now the Jaguar one is a lot bulkier right here around the edges they're basically the same build you can see the kind of checkered pattern pieces on the sides and the pillars along with the little FIA curbing sections at the bottoms everything about the sides is pretty identical between the two now the difference is obviously the light mechanism or they're not actually lights but the little suggestions of lights and you can see in the Jaguar one you kind of pull this pin and as you go you get the various lights until you get to green and then you just kind of have this extra pin which you can actually store in the top right here and that's not a feature on the box however I think that that is a pretty cool use for that little pinhole. Now the Lamborghini one I think is much better, much sleeker. You just kind of flip this little switch and you can go and I really like that it's very easy to reset and move around as opposed to the Jaguar one you kind of have to push up the little pieces and kind of finagle them into their little spots and it's a lot more difficult than just flipping a switch. But as you can see, I personally like the Lamborghini one more. Now let's go on to what I think of all the kits together. Now that we've seen all of the cars up close and even compared them, we can see my favorites, which are the Nissan GTR Nismo, and I really like that for the $20 kits, especially because it's got all kinds of really cool stickers and print details that I just really like, and the whole color scheme about it is just very, very nice. It's got lots of really cool build details and all kinds of cool techniques that there's actually stuff to learn from that car, and I really like that kit. Now my favorite out of the two double kits is definitely the Lamborghinis, but they cost $50 and I know that's a bit of money to choke on, especially since it's just two Lego cars, but I really like both of these cars. The details in both of them are just awesome. Now the value kit out of any of these, the best absolute best value has to go to the Jaguar kit because it's only 30 US dollars for two cars instead of just the $20 for the single car. That's $10 for a start gate and a, another extra car or another extra car. But I just really, really like that kit for the value. And if you're going to pick up one of these, I highly recommend the Jaguar kit. Speaking of which, if you want to pick up one of these, you can check out the links in the description below to find the kit that you want at the best price, and it even helps out the channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Nuclear Fusion.